job that I got as a student in college. So it was at Jersey Mike's, the one that's located on University near East Campus. Mm -hmm. And it was my second day on the job. And I got tasked with putting bread in the oven and cooking it. Simple task, right? So you're supposed to spray the bread with water. It's called proofing it before like, you put it in the oven. So I do that. I walk away. Not five minutes later, there's this terrible smell like filling the entire restaurant coming from the kitchen. So I walk back. My manager comes up to me pissed. He's standing right in front of my oven. And he tells me that I'd sprayed the bread with hand sanitizer <laughs> instead of water. I got fired after that. <laughs> so ever since then, it's been one of my main priorities to keep a clean kitchen. And I use this product as part of my repertoire whenever I'm doing dishes. This is called the Scrub Daddy. And it's founded uh, by a guy named Aaron Krauss, and who's also the creator of Scrub Daddy Company. Um, and so today, I would like to tell you how his shark, paint, shark Tank pitch was a success by talking about the components of his pitch, highlighting the persuasive elements he uses, as well as um, looking at the peaks and pitfalls of his pitch. So um, the Scrub Daddy came out. Uh, this episode aired in October 26 of 2012. And the company was started in early 2012. Um, it's pretty much a kitchen tool to clean like your silverware, countertops, stovetops. But I'm going to let Krauss explain it since he's the creator of it. Um, and before I play the clip, I want you to really pay attention to his eye contact he makes with the sharks. I'll come back to that later. Hi, sharks. I'm Aaron Krauss from Philadelphia. And I'm known as the daddy of the scrub daddy, the cutest but most high-tech scrubbing tool in the world. Today, I'm seeking a $100,000 investment in exchange for 10% equity in the Scrub Daddy business. It's the greatest kitchen scrubbing tool you've ever used because Scrub Daddy completely changes its texture by just adjusting your water temperature. Let me show you how that works. Here we've got some hot water. Here we've got some cold water. When I immerse the Scrub Daddies in the hot and cold water, a complete transformation occurs. Now, to show you that, I've got 10 pound weights. Here, under the 10 pounds, it's soft and compressible. And that's like a sponge. That's for your general building <coughs> applications. But here, check that out. It's hard and firm. That's going to be for heavy duty scrubbing applications. We put it on broccoli gravy, tomato sauce, cheese, and mustard onto a glass stove top and a stainless steel pan. I'm going to take the scrub that and you're going to see it's just going to attack right into that burn on mess, scrubbing it right off. And remember, I'm just using water here. There's no chemicals at all. And it's going to cut right through that. It won't scratch any of your surfaces, but it will clean them beautifully. Now, Scrub Daddy is not really smiling anymore, so I'm going to put it here in the warm water. And in just a couple seconds, voila. So, as you can tell, the Scrub Daddy is very much so a multi-use product. And this goes well with Krauss's pitch, as he has a multi-platform pitch, going from his introduction to an outline of what the product actually is to his demonstration. And he gets a big reaction out of the sharks once he shows that the product actually has utility. Um, but they were super hesitant at first. But he eventually, after this clip, he got Mr. Wonderful to laugh, which is not something that happens a lot. And um, Damon, one of the sharks, said, I've never seen a live commercial before. And he's, he, he's right in this sense, because it's almost as if like you would expect him to say, like, buy one now, and I'll throw one in for free, and $9.95 shipping, or something like that. So. Um, as you can tell, he mastered the informative strategy and delivery of his pitch, and he explained what he, what he needed, what the sharks needed to know about the product in a compact and engaging format. Um, so now, back to the eye contact I was talking about <coughs> earlier. Um, that was his first um, establishment of his own credibility, because he connected with every single shark. He didn't look up or down or anything. And that like showed him as confident, which is something the sharks like really like to see. And he didn't have any hesitation in his rhetoric. They he told them exactly what they were looking for, and he gave a thorough analysis of the product and of its use. So I'd like to show you another clip, but before I do, I'll give you some context because there's some time that I'm not going to show in between two clips. So um, he tells the sharks that his product has been sold in supermarkets, in online uh, sales and on QVC. And the latter of those three is important because one of the sharks, Lori, is known as the queen of QVC. She sold a bunch of products on the uh, television network. And um, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, so pretty much what Krauss says is that he's been invited back time after time again on QVC. 
and each time he gets invited back, they order 30% more of the product, which conveys the product's attractiveness, but it also shows that he's um, catering to his audience because he's providing relevant and impressing information um, to the sharks that they're very interested in. So, without further ado, I'll show you this next clip. In almost just north of $100,000, only in four months. Do you have a patent on this? I actually have a patent. I have two more pending. We have the trademark. We have domain names. Okay, Aaron. What do you need the $100,000 for? What I want to do is set up an independent manufacturing facility with automated equipment. Why do you need to go into your own facility? The biggest problem is I'm on their time schedule. Are you saying you can be making more revenue if you're 24-7 making scrub daddies? The way QVC is going, and we're just about to launch in a whole bunch of stores, we're going to need that capacity. And I have 18 years' experience running a manufacturing plant that runs 24 hours a day. I know exactly what I need to do to make this thing really efficient. I know exactly what I need to do to make this thing really efficient. That's music to the shark's ears. <laughs> Showing that he has experience, 18 years worth, in a manufacturing facility. Also saying that he has a patent, two patents pending, a trademark, and a domain name. So he's overflowing with credibility, as he definitely knows what he's doing in, um, in his field. So this shows that he's an expert in his field, and he has an extreme knowledge of his product and how to utilize the best ways to make his product, which is what he's on Shark Tank for. Um, and he also said he made $100,000 off this single product in under four months, which shows not only the product's credibility, but also the company's. So now I'm going to highlight the peaks and pitfalls of Krause's Shark Tank pitch. And I'm going to start with the pitfalls because there's very few. The only detriment that I really noticed was he talked really fast. Uh, like we said before, it seemed like an infomercial, and it was kind of hard to focus on what he was doing between his sporadic talking and the really quick demonstration he was conducting. But other than that, he hardly faltered at all. Um, his arguments were all sound, and what helped him out the most was he was able to give answers to the sharks to questions they hadn't even asked yet. Um, so through his perfect persuasiveness, confidence, and like I said, credibility, there were, those were all key factors in his pitch. Um, he also used Monroe's motivated sequence by uh, grabbing the shark's attention at first, um, stating his need that he wanted to get out of the shark tank. He then gave them a visualization by performing the demonstration and then gave them the satisfaction that the product worked through the demonstration. And then he eventually took action and at the end of the episode, he makes a deal with Lori. So today I've shared why Aaron Krause's Scrub Daddy pitch um, is a perfect example of a well-organized, successful, and effective <clears throat> uh, pitch. I outlined the components of his pitch. I highlighted the effective persuasive techniques that he used, and I also gave an overview of the peaks and pitfalls um, of his pitch. To prove even further that this product <clears throat> is a huge success, in 2018, USA Today came out with an article, and it says, Scrub Daddy has amassed over $170 million in sales throughout 30,000 stores in, in addition to online sales which makes it the largest and most successful product to date to ever to appear on Shark Tank. So because we're all college students, I encourage you all to get your own scrub daddy. This pitch, like I said before, persuaded me to get my own scrub daddy. And I've had the best time using it. <laughs>